Jig Ziglar said, the real opportunities for success lies within the person and not the job. Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, people across the world who are joining this and people who are going to join us later through the recording. I welcome you all to episode number five of my Instagram inspiration series. Today, I've got a very special guest, a very good friend of mine, and we met uh, through Toastmaster, but it's been a real journey. Uh, I would like, like you all to welcome Savan Chitaura. Savan, welcome, and it's so glad to have you with us. Thank you so much, Haritosh. It's a pleasure to be on your show. And uh, I think we'll have some good, interesting talk for everyone with us today. Yep, I'm so looking forward to you. So before I get started, uh, uh, I'll ask uh, the audience if they have any question, feel free to put it in the comment box. And towards the end, we'll see how many questions we can take. Uh, also, how it works, Savan, is that I'll be more of an interviewer asking you a few questions. Uh, few interesting one hopefully and you will we'll keep on answering and then we'll go through that so let me start with uh, the thing that you are famous for me and that is your photography i am a big fan of your candid photo shoots that you do the different uh, i mean how how do you do that so so let walk us through how did you find this passion and and, and how long this journey has been and what all you have done uh, thank you so much, Ritosh, for those kind words. Um, I think it's uh, it started a few years back, I think around seven years back when I bought my first DSLR. And before wow. that, I used to use the the roll one, and which used to give you 32 pictures in a single roll. <laughs> and uh, if you get 33, you'll be lucky for that day. But uh, uh, so I started with that. Um, I used to travel a lot with my father. Yeah, he's the, he's been into bank and used to get these holidays every two every once in two years. So that's mm-hmm. how it started to uh, have an interest in nature and architectures, especially. So I love monuments. I love the amazing uh, monuments we have got in India, and I think I'm blessed to be born in India. I would say that because that got me interested into photography as a as a first step. And then eventually I started doing more stuff like macros, uh, going into that new world of insects where they are so small that we can't really capture all the details, but the camera can. So that gave me an edge over what we used to see, how we used to see the world before. And um, since then, it's been a very amazing journey. My friends have been great. And uh, I just built up my portfolio slowly, slowly, and uh, people were nice. They started um, asking me for professional work, and I think uh, that's how it started becoming a snowball effect. <laughs> wow! <laughs> so, so about seven years, you had your hollow moment, and from there it has been rolling out. And you have been using your shutters. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. So yeah, and talk about the professional photography. I know you have a website, and you do. So how how long have you been doing the professional photography, and what all sort of things that you do? Uh, see, I started doing professional work about, uh, I would say, four years ago, uh, when a few friends of mine uh, recommended me to uh, do a pre-wedding shoot. And uh, since then, it started becoming like, uh, for the same couple, I had to do a wedding shoot also, and uh, which was really toll-taking because I have a full-time job. I'm a software engineer, so I can't really afford that much holidays and everything. So I, I can't do that much yet. Uh, but most of most of all, I just love doing portraits. I love doing pre-wedding shoots, and I mm-hmm. think uh, uh, monuments is my my topmost priority any given day. If I have to uh, pick up. Uh, having said that, um, I think it's it's more about finding your passion and what you are good at. It's it's really essential for anyone to get success in any of the fields. I think we are living in an era where uh, we have opportunities and uh, tools to do well. Uh, if I would have thought that whatever things I'm doing today, 50 years ago, it was not possible. What 50, like 20 years ago, it was not possible. Um, sure. The most important thing for uh, for me, I would say that find your passion. And uh, once you find it, uh, chase it like it is the last bus of the night. Wow. I mean, yeah, one of the things which is very interesting that I found in my all uh, five episodes, this is the fifth episode that I'm doing it, People who follow their passion become successful. I mean, they may not be professionally successful, but if you find your passion and you work on it, uh, 
I think you get a different sort of pleasure, the different sort of satisfaction. To me, uh, public speaking and Toastmaster is is sort of my passion, and I I get a great deal about it. I think about it, and I get a lot of satisfaction out of it. So very uh, very well said. So my next question is, how do you find your passion? <laughs> I mean, if it is Twitter. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that's a difficult one. That's a difficult one. Um, yeah, most of us, most of us, we uh, uh, we are born without knowing our passion, and we die without knowing our passion. It's a bitter yeah. truth, but I have to say it. I think so, most important thing for anyone is to how to find what you truly love, what you truly are passionate about. Uh, I think for I believe I I read it somewhere I read a lot I read it somewhere that to become successful in life you have to have combination of these three things. Mm-hmm. Uh, one is one is hard work, second is talent, and third is enthusiasm or passion, what we call. You can have any yeah. one of these two, hard work or talent. Passion. But mm-hmm. passion is essential for anything. No matter what you do, if you are not passionate, you can't be good at it. If you want to be good at it, you must have passion. And uh, how to find your passion, what you love, is basically try out things. I think as a as a child, I was lucky to try out a, quite a few things. Uh, my parents always supported things to try out, and I did swimming, I did uh, cricket, I played cricket, I played soccer, I I learned a little bit of keyboard. I think quite a few things I did. Sketching, I used to do. I still do a bit of sketching whenever I get time. Nice. Um, so I think if you try out quite a few things, you eventually figure out what you are good at, what you really love, and eventually you can become better at it. Even if you are not good or amazing at that skill at that moment, it's fine because nobody is that good. Trust me, except a few people who are uh, God gifted. Otherwise, people like me. I mean, we all have to find our way. We have to climb our mm-hmm. stairs and get there wherever we want to get there. So hard work will. Will really help you to get to climb those steps and you know be be somebody someday. So hard work can 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 be your best friend, uh, definitely. So yeah. So, so coming back to the question, yes, try out few things and then see what's good, what's not. I I saw an ad about this. It was from Amazon, and uh, mm-hmm. how it goes like there is a a couple, uh, like a husband or a wife or a boyfriend and a girlfriend and. Uh, the the man had lost his memory for some accident or something he met, and the mm-hmm. girl is basically ordering few stuff from Amazon every day, boxing uh, kit and then a DSLR camera and something and something and eventually he's trying everything day after day, and then he's trying to recollect what he really is. I wow. think that's what we all do. That's all we all do. Yeah, that's amazing. That now I think uh, this is what we can do. I mean, yeah, we should be we should be lucky if we get. I mean, if we find our passion, but yeah, we'll have to keep trying, hit and try, hit and try. Maybe someday you'll hit. That's good. Oh yes, yes. So I think that's why people call you the master of tabletop fiction. <laughs> Books about. Oh my lord. Books about. Okay. So now that we talked about passion, um, there is there are a lot of people who who. Really mm-hmm. want to do. Uh, I mean, excellent photography. That's one of the hard skills in my right yeah. now. And lot of young professionals who really want to do it professionally. If you have to give like two or three tips for them uh, to actually take okay. this take their talent to the next level, what would that be? Um, first thing and the foremost thing uh, will be be good at whatever you do. I think uh, you have to be really uh, master of your craft. If you want to offer that, if you want to go up in that thing, uh, there is a saying by Abraham Lincoln. It's my favorite. Whatever you do, be a good one. I think that yeah. that applies to every single segment in life. Um, mm-hmm. So no matter what line you choose, as I said, we have almost every single tool available today, uh, infrastructure available today, that we can make it big. And to do that, just be genius in your craft. So that's one thing, and it comes by time. You have to put in efforts. Second thing will be have a good portfolio, have something to showcase, have something to you know portray that yes, this is what I do and I'm good at it. You you may not be you're not required to do every single thing in that domain. It's all right. I think you can rather select a few specifications and you can just be you can just offer that particular service and just be great at it. 
Now look at me. I'm not really offering uh, like quite a few things in my portfolio. I don't do weddings as such. I don't do uh, uh, real estate, which which are really these two are really the big uh, I would say uh, rich uh, fields in my domain. But I don't do that. I'm trying to create my own place, my own niche, and I think uh, that's what everyone should do. Always start with the beginning. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. always begin with the end in your mind. They say. Yeah. So you need to know that this is my place, and I'm going to go into this shelf. Okay, yeah. so have a portfolio like that. And thirdly, uh, I would say your work ethics. I think work ethics is something which is which makes a huge difference no matter what you do. You have to stay committed. You have to think for your uh, whoever is the ultimate client. And I think uh, these th things will take you far, in my opinion. Wow. That's so precise and concise and succinct to say. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, once again, uh, anyone having any questions, feel free to put it in the comments. Uh, um, we are coming towards the end because we don't want to make it so boring for people to keep on going. Yeah. But we do have yeah. last two questions. One yeah. is, no, we all know about the elephant in the room, uh, the corona, COVID-19, however you wish to say. And we all have been put in, in the lockdown. So how are you keeping yourself positive and motivated? I promise this is the only question I'm going to ask about Corona. <laughs> yeah, I think. <laughs> thank you for thank you for keeping it to the point. Uh, I think uh, uh, most most importantly is uh, in life everything is like that. How you look at it, All right? Um, the first at first glance, if we look at this, this uh, epidemic, I think the, it is like a curse. Uh, you're not able to go out. You can't do anything. But you just change your perception. Uh, you can find that you have more time than ever before and you can uh, revisit yourself. You can have a pause and re revisit your journey, whatever you have done so far and whatever things you could have done better and mm -hmm. uh, start from there and then begin to, to draw a chart for yourself, draw a path for yourself where you want to go eventually five years down the line or 10 years down the line and uh, start working on that because this is not like a, a punishment, this Corona break. I think this is more of a, a, a camp for you to find your on your goals, revisit your goals, reshape them. I think that's mm -hmm. uh, that's what it is. So make most of it as much as you can. Uh, explore and make most of it. This is what I would say. I would say uh, my take is on. Yep. So it's all about perspective that you put it in picture. You think of it as disaster it is, but if you think of it as a blessing in disguise, yeah, it may be. <laughs> all right. Uh, so now I think I'm gonna move out to a lot of people joining. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm going to move out to, towards the last probably question. And it's not about question. It's more about you know, if, uh, when are you doing my photo shoot? <laughs> 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 I would say that's easy. That's easy. As soon as you come back from UK, I will not do your photo shoot. <laughs> no, no, if somebody wants to contact you, uh, they want to have their own photo shoot, they want to have, you know, make use of your talent to say, uh, how can they reach out to you? And uh, uh, this, um, uh, you can reach out to me via my website, uh, sabanchitorafotography.com, um, or my Insta account, as Chitora. I think these are two quick ways to see my work and uh, see if I can be of help to create your vision into reality. Right. All right. I think uh, uh, that's it. We don't have the audience is quite today. So no, we don't have any questions. But yeah, it was great uh, having you. Uh, I think it's it, in this world, even though we are so uh, apart with the help of technology, we can still be yes. connected. We can still do a lot of things. So that has been the theme of my this session. Uh, thank you so much, Avan, once again. And it was lovely to have you. And I'm looking forward to my photo shoot. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you so much, Harito, uh, for having me on your show. And it was a pleasure to have uh, this this open talk. Uh, I hope it uh, it was of uh, few, few uh, I would say, few, few gems were, were there for our audience to get inspired from. Yeah. Thank you. I'm pretty sure that's that's a very valuable lesson people got it. So yeah, like every time before I end my session, I would like to request to you all to you know, help each other. And when I say help, it's not only about money. There are other ways also that you can 
help uh, it could be talking to people providing them mental support etc and also if you can spare you know some sort of food for the pets for the stray dogs and cats etc because they are also uh, being suffering because of corona uh, so that would be great uh, let's all keep learning keep growing and most importantly keep growing out of uh, keep going out of our comfort zone thank you so much this is haritosh signing off i'll be back next week with another great personality see you take care thanks thank you thanks guys